If you don't know me, my name is Taranjit Singh Rai and yes, I am an award-winning scientist, teacher, lecturer and a football coach. What I'm not is a financial advisor. These videos are totally for entertainment purposes only. Now this chicken shit is away, let's discuss the topic of today. Today, I'm gonna reveal all the main sources of my crypto information to you. I will tell you which influencers I follow and I will also tell you which influencers you need to be really, really careful. That cap was annoying me. <laughs> By the way, guys, I'm drinking San Miguel today. Cheap Spanish lager, but does the job. Cheers. So the first influencer again has about half a million subscribers is Lark Davis. Most of his information usually is from Cointelegraph, Decrypt News and all the main crypto news. However, he does a good job in providing a complete overview. The only concern I have is he said not your keys, not your crypto and then at the same time kept advising Celsius this, Celsius that, BlockFi this, BlockFi that. Video after video he was encouraging his subscribers to put funds into Celsius and just before the collapse he took his funds away without really warning his subscribers that much. You need to be very very careful about what these influencers say and now that Celsius and BlockFi thing is gone it's buy bit buy bit buy bit buy bit. I don't know whether he leveraged trades or not but no one wins especially retail doesn't win with leverage trading so be very very careful. Okay so that was number one. Number two is uh, Tony a really good guy I have followed him a lot but he has stopped making videos because he's now focusing on his NFT collection. Got a lot of things wrong like many other influencers for example in 2021 he was all about cardano supply shock cardano will be the highest return on investment he was expecting 10x the, the truth of the matter is no one knows however he does has a good handle over the field where the field is going he minted a lot and lots of board apes and also has crypto punks obviously he must have got millions of ape coin in airdrop next one is elio trades he recently has started doing this uh, crypto one-on-one -on -one which is really good to encourage new people in, but obviously there is links like every other influencer has so that he gets the kickbacks. Again, he just like Tony from GRNY, he has lost focus with his imposter NFT collection. The they are both of them have priced out the retail they were really really expensive many many eth for mint someone needs to remind both of these guys that crypto punks was 0.08 eth and to just uh, take milk money out of retail is not a good idea however again there's a lot of information that he provides and i think that is the reason why i sometimes listen to him the one to completely avoid is this guy here aran i have seen so much on uh, twitter against uh, him with proof for example alex becker posted a screenshot of him uh, pumping and dumping a coin this guy kapu of crypto exposed him naked that he's literally begging him to come onto the account to get more subscribers this guy has been predicting so many calls correct that <laughs> these guys are feeling very uncomfortable they really need to get their subs uh, some material that they are correct <laughs> However, again, uh, not to badmouth everything, Mal's here, seen here, is, is really good. Similarly, I also uh, like Hustle with his gaming uh, crypto reviews. But again, again, Bybit, Bybit, Bybit is something they are doing at the moment. They are doubling their portfolios on certain exchanges, but majority of the retail gets wrecked. So be very, very careful. Next on list is BitBoy Crypto. I'm not gonna take away from the fact that he is here from very very start however again this is the guy who said Bitcoin will never ever drop below 47k <laughs> this is the guy who repeatedly said that and then recent tweet was according to him the bottom is 10k to 14k uh, on Twitter if you check his Twitter it is hilarious the the insecurity here is just hilarious but again uh, he has been here since start runs a really well balanced channel again I don't have time for his videos if you have time on your hand this channel is not a bad channel now the blue chip of influencers if Bitcoin is blue chip to all the cryptocurrencies this guy his name is guy coin bureau is the blue chip for crypto influencers he is the best guy for crypto on the planet no ifs no buts no buy bit buy bit buy bit no sponsored links no sponsored videos and the content is world class only concern here is that he makes really long videos i usually listen to him when i'm driving the kids to either school or to football or something else so i always multitask but this is an influencer that i will always listen the second blue chip influencer in the crypto world is ben cohen he will bore you to death with his repeated analysis but here's the thing he was the very few influencers when Bitcoin was around 60k, he was calling for a steep fall. 
and when everyone was euphoric he was asking all his subs to take profits proper mathematics physics it is beautiful to watch his channel it is just beautiful so something uh, someone i will recommend so this is the second blue chip of the crypto influencers next one i follow closely is alex becker again he's really busy with his nft project near tokyo again really really expensive for retail however uh he is big into gaming and he has been investing massively into gaming cryptos. Uh, there is a guy who made a video that if you bought any random coin in uh, top 20, 30 gaming cryptos, you would outperform Alex Becker's picks. But I think just for educational purposes, he's a good influencer to follow. Next blue chip for me is Altcoin Daily, both Aaron and Austin. Uh, they make daily videos, keep you up to date. There is a little bit of links where they encourage people to use new exchanges and, and do some sponsored contents. Like one of the most disgusting sponsored content I saw on Altcoin Daily was Gaia Evervault uh, sponsored video. But I, I still think uh, they're doing a good service for the crypto community. Next one is Superman, funny guy, really steep accent. Again, Again, if he can stick to less 10 minutes 15 minutes video that will be good but i do listen to him sometimes only if he makes the smaller shorter videos uh, most of the crypto influencers have figured out that if you do live videos uh, youtube likes that more because it keeps the subscribers onto the channel for a really long time so all of them are doing it he's doing it yes he's a massive blue zilla fan blue zilla has been just devastating recently absolutely horrible with move z no one gets a code only if you pay higher money then you get the code it is ridiculous if you leave the bluezilla bs aside he's a good influencer to follow um someone who sells his soul <laughs> on a daily basis is connor kenny this guy uh, made a lot of uh, subscribers from safe moon uh, videos in the beginning sometimes you can find useful content uh, i do like him but i think he has just sold his soul to sponsored content so just be very very careful uh, another one who has uh, sold his soul <laughs> for sponsored content is joe paris uh, again um, you need to listen from all sides of the argument if you want to listen to coin bureau you have to listen to people like Joe Paris because sometimes they do come up with like 10x, 20x gems, which might be absolute rubbish, which might have no fundamentals whatsoever. But I'm here to make some good buck out of my investments. I'm not here a community centric person. I'm, I, on a, if that is BS to me, if you are one of those people who say diamond hands and all that BS, sorry, uh, <laughs> you you will fail for sure however i do listen to him because sometimes he has good picks uh sometimes he has links to free nft collections and so on and so forth again just to keep an eye by the way guys do give me a follow on eat healthy get rich on twitter for example i posted about this uh ec 3500 percent apr on the osmo ec pair on osmosis frontier I'm making seven or eight quid of uh every day from uh, 50 quid investment uh, which is pretty sensational it has now dropped uh, pretty substantially to low 500s not only you would have almost made 40 50 percent gains also earned juicy rewards uh, and again i have no inclination to any of these projects i just sell my rewards every single day so the, there is more influencers that i do follow but i don't want to bore you with extreme length of these uh, influencers most of the time i'm just watching them while i'm driving my son around put it on bluetooth Please, please, please focus on driving. Uh, do not watch the video. Just listen to what they are saying. That's how I multitask. That's how I keep myself right. I still stand by my last week's video where I said that Bitcoin will retest its 17.5K bottom. US is already in recession. Fit numbers will be confirmed pretty soon. US will have consecutive negative GDP, which means it will be in recession. Um, if 0.75 base pair uh, interest rate hikes happens on 26th, then it's already priced in. But if it is one or higher, guys, everything will tank. Again, not financial advice. These are my personal opinion. So those are my influences uh, that I follow. I want to know what are your influences? Who do you follow? And of all the influencers I mentioned, did you make money out of them or did you get wrecked because you followed them onto Celsius, you followed them onto Bybit? All opinions are welcome. Let me know in the comments before and I'll see you in the next video.